could use some hair in the hand. What have you got, Captain? Right, I'll tell you. Right, I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> what do you seek here, Vagrant? Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Could use some hair of the hound. What have you got, Captain? I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know, catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses? Puh. Not one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door, now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. <sighs> Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Bangli consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. 
As you wish, your majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige, with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Siri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my vassals. Who helped her get to Novigrad, where Siri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Siri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research. Made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Vafael Elen, Kedmel Foli, Gladiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next... Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So... How do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Fortress? Someone's been slacking off.
Been away quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. And if it was right on one count, thing sure isn't pretty. Don't look all that nice yourself. How'd you get so dirty? Huh? Ah, this. I was mixing some lime for the mortar. Need to patch up the walls before they crumble. A lot of work for one person. Lambert and Eskel not willing to help? Don't see the sense in it? No. Yennefer found more important things for them to do. Yen's here already? And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in. Not even a nice to see you jumps right into a we've a curse to live, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things through the bed off the balcony. Shame. That was a good bed. Said the same myself. Solid oak frame, down mattress. Tris always said she. Ah, now I see. It's either that, or Yen really hates oak furniture. So what's Yen planning? Wish I knew. Mean she didn't tell you? She told us what she needs to lift the curse, not what she plans to do with it, despite our asking. She's gotta have a good reason. Huh. More than one, most likely. In any case, she's set her mind on something. Needs us to stay out of her way, mostly. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Damn it! What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Realize that monstrosity, as you put it, might be Siri? Yeah, I heard. Mind showing a bit of sympathy? I call him like I see him. That's how I am. Know what? Never mind. Not gonna argue with you. Right. No time to lose. The monstrosity awaits. Lambert. Oh, sorry. The potential Cirilla. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Gotta take care of something. Wait for me. Sure. Everything's ready at my end. No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side. 
Like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy. May set off on. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? Yeah, old man can't stand it. Savola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. What now, you piece of filth? Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! Moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Drowned the corpse. Whatever mutilated it sure wasn't human. Thing. 
All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Old spear tip's still down there? Yeah, he is. Unless he's done us a favor and killed over on his own. Could come at us at any moment. How'd the rhyme go? Old spear tip's a deep sleeper. Wake him up and you'll sleep deeper. Come on. Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's gotta be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn hive, almost always. Fine, let's go. Hey, little guy. It's all right, you're safe now. Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the foglets to take care of now.
an illusion. Who would have thunk? You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than Witcher. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglets remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Wall looks a little shaky. Ard, maybe? Mm hmm. And awake old spear tip? What? You afraid? No, I just think before I act. Mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. <gasps> ah! What? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been nice. Ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping there. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. For Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> Voltaire, who's that? Don't remember? Little guy, a scar on his chin right here. Oh, yeah, I remember. All we can do now. Never made it out of here. Let's go.
Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Uh, which us is to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Hi! This troll mountain! Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say? Thing two do. Thing three do. Sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? Mm-hmm. They understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave! Before they stone us to death! Far more. Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle of elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witcher's castle. Lock Slotler. Let him lock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll, rock, troll. Witcher see strike no back. Just talky, talky. Witcher, good? Only you. Witcher is his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Mm. Um, we do go this. Use sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Big metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, Witchers kill monsters. Your memory is shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stones at us, Gerfa. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. 
beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air. in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh uh, yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and Mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Witcher's is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Geralt, let's go. Right, let's get back. After you, sir. Eskel's prints. No one else has left the keep recently.
That's his horse. What's its name? Scorpion? Foot beautiful animal. And hoof prints. A goat. Interesting. Eskel made camp here. Looks like he planned to stay outside a while. sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for forktails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full. And sharp as ever, in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Good to finally see you again. Jen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Come on, you're a handsome guy in your own way. Carol, please, cut the crap. Shh, hear that? Incoming. Overgrown reptiles. Hate it when they do that. Might have saved bleeding heavily from an artery. Blood's light colored. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No. Don't think so. Saved his lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Eskel and Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand. Hmm. Might want to look around some.
Let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Yen tell you why she wants this? Mean you don't know? And that, uh, doesn't bug you? Of course it does. Don't see us lifting the curse without her, though. We could have gone to Triss for help. Put it to you this way. If Yen can't help Uma, we can always go to Triss. She won't hold it against us. But if we'd done it the other way around... <laughs> There'd be hell to pay. Exactly. Enough of this talk. Let's go. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Giddy up. Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Since you insist? Here. Use it wisely. Decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. 
Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well, then. Listen. You shagged my friend for upwards of a year. I cannot know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. I try not to think about it. That stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. Not about to grovel, if that's what you're after. I tire of this conversation. It ends now. I'm glad a mere whiff of fresh air helped you realize that. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Askel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? First off, stop pouting. Second, no, it's no secret. Ida Emian, remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? in these crates. Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. 
Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. <laughs> Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Look. Like that? Pretty, isn't it? Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kednell and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse, one we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn eptenid bondro isne iachus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so-called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the Migration. The Migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us, with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course, they are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. Let me guess. You want something in return. If I may, Gwynblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lathe and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. 
All in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boor, despite my asking you not to. I'm sorry. It's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. <sighs> oh, enough. All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Esco, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho! Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables, to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you. Never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. 
and relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? We were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. How about a round of cards? Why not? Playing for coin though, right? Yeah, I'm a 
unless you'd rather play strip quent. Maybe I'd finally come to understand what women see in you. Compare your trouser snakes later. Pouch is on the table. <laughs> What's with him? Don't worry about it. Let's play. Good game, Geralt. Especially that move with the... Esco. He doesn't need any praise, just pour. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game. Student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, 
I've never. And finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never... slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... ...taken fist take. Eskel, really? Once, with that succubus. Right, man. Let's end on that. I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Colder and up an ice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. You and Lambert get along? In a way, I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men. A witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Eskel. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. So, watch this about a Samovilla? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. You can breathe easy. Yen and I are not a couple, and we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn so. Lambert, drop it. Sorry, Carol, that was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but 
I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, you oaf. Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Where's Esco? Should have been back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir! Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Spilled some wine and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Askel! 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 Askel, chop, chop. Askel, you drunk! Get out here! Hey, you hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it. <sighs> As he hurt close. himself. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Esco! Esco! Hey, look. There he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So? We inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, twist here, a turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some f f f frippery. Uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt.
Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. Soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Cadmill blood at Hocus pocus abracadabra arsplatha. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! More paper, Excellency! No, you oaf! The lodge, the lodge has come for me! <laughs> <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm, and reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan. It wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. <sighs> Must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations. Extrapolated some data. Meaning, you guess.
Yes? What is it, Wolf? See you later, Vesemir. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel. Make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock and killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Yeah! Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags? On it. Floor. No. A trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. Geralt, maybe you ought to... Come now, Eskel. I shan't bite you. Just do it. Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it. Or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Then do something to keep me awake. I don't know. Tell me a story. Ever tell you about the time Dandelion bought me a sword? Was that in Kerak? 
just after we decided to take a break. Yeah. My swords had disappeared. Doesn't matter how. And Dandelion insisted I had to be armed. Decided he'd buy me a weapon. Came to me beaming. The truest Verolidon steel. Good price, too. So good it felt like I was stealing. <laughs> Naturally, blade shattered first parry I threw. He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Another severe. Penny a tad. Never. Savi. Kawal. Arriva. And you. Let you. Geralt, yellow flask in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kania Tad. Never severe. Koal. Koal. Kania Tad. Nevid, Kariba, Endir! Geralt, the phylactery, open it! Kanitad, Taran Anadir, Dis! Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arwen. Arwen. Shram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. They Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't. No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers and pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalon? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? 
Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. If we plan to fight them, we five, in a crumbling castle. Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than not. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs>